Hello, my epic empanadas. It's your boy, Zionic Blader, and in this video, we are here in the Bakugan Wiki because we are going to be reviewing every single epic character card released in Bakugan Armored Alliance. Now, there is uh, quite a bit of them, so let's just get right into it. So, a lot of people uh, probably would have wanted me to do like a, a redo of a worst to best video. However, I feel like that would take way too much time. I'm currently in the middle of also doing the best to worst for Geogon Rising um, uh, Evolutions and Legends. So by the time all of those are done, uh, Generation 3 is already going to be well underway. And Generation 2 is kind of going to be uh, old news. So I might as well get these epic character cards out of the way because I never got to review all of them. Because uh, a lot of the cards never actually, you know, got released outside of uh, a couple of uh, boxes being found here and there. But I'm going to review these so at least we can uh, know which ones are good or bad. So instead of ranking them, I'm just going to say, would I, would I use this? Would I not use this? I'm going to be a bit more forgiving. This is a Geo... No, this is a Armored Alliance, so... Back then, Armored Alliance, we wanted your Bakugan to have, you know, 1450 B power. So that's going to be the uh, range of uh, B power we're looking for, at least for the B power Bakugan. For damage Bakugan, you know, uh, 10 damage minimum and then you're good to go. But, you know, the effects might actually be good. So, anyways, now the first one is Aquas Auxilitar, two shield cores, 305. At the start of the game, draw one card. Uh... Uh, yeah, the damage set is decent. It's a 5, so if it had a uh, Fire Fist or a Helix Core, that would have been good. Unfortunately, it does not, so it would have to use another Bakugan's damage boosting core. And when you get to that point and you're only carrying two shields, it's not really worth it. Uh, the effect of drawing an extra card at the start of the game, I guess it's nice, but after that turn, and you're, it's just kind of a waste. So would I use Aquas Auxilitar? No. Uh, however, it is a cool design, so I mean, if you really wanted to, because it has 5 damage, you can, you know, probably possibly make it work, but you're gonna be stretching just for aesthetics. So, yeah, no, not this back again. Next is Aquas Halcor Core. We got a Helix Core and a Shield Core. So, we got 500B power and 4 damage, and you may reroll this once per turn if you miss a real roll with it. So... A uh, pretty generic effect, uh, reroll effect. Um, he, uh, the Helix Core is good, but to be honest, the stats are too low to really do anything, so I would not use this back again. Next is Hulk Ultra, uh, Green Fist and Shield, 700 B power, 1 damage, and when you attach a Backer Gear to this, you draw one card, and as we know, this Bakugan is actually banned in a lot of playgroups because of how overpowered this Bakugan can be with uh, Chaos Feral. So, uh, this Bakugan, you add a Baku Gear, you draw one card, and the whole shtick about uh, this combo is that you uh, reduce the amount of energy the Baku Gears cost to a very, very low and to almost zero, so you just keep on playing Baku Gears, and then eventually you'll draw into a hand that can let you win the game. So... If you're lucky, you can win the game in one t in like a few turns just using Halco Ultra and Chaos Feral. So yeah, that is this backing on. You would use it. It's ba it's banned in a lot, quite a few places, and it's considered cheap. So uh, you know, but still, yeah, it's a good backing on. I would use it. Next is Aquas Nilius with Fire Fist and Helix Core. That's a very great core lineup. We have 600 B power and one damage, and it has a Victor ability Sync. Reveal a card in your hand that costs 5 energy or more for 5 damage. Now, that's a decent sync effect. However, it's locked behind a victor ability. And unfortunately, with stats of 600 B power and 1 damage, it's too low to really do anything. And to be honest, you're going to be mainly be using uh, Aquas Hydrus for your Aquas Bakugan in a sync deck. So, uh, no, I would not use this Bakugan. Next up is Aquas Nilius Ultra, has a magic shield and a green fist, 500 B power, 3 damage, and while this has a Baku gear attached to it, it gains 2 frost strike. Now this is actually a pretty powerful effect, because if you put like a high damage uh, gear on this Bakugan and you do a highest damage once play, you know, you get that extra 2 frost strike, that's going to be very difficult for your opponent to... Uh, 
uh, defend against. Um, and uh, because Frost Strike, when you're doing damage, the amount of resources it takes to block an attack or use a flip card increases by the amount of Frost Strike. So if a, so a three energy flip, uh, flip card to defend an attack would end up costing five. So uh, that is a lot of energy to uh, spend, especially towards the end of a brawl. Now, yes, this is a great back gun, especially if you use Dark Fire Defense, which gives you 99 damage. That's just uh, overkill at that point. But yes, two a Frost Strike, very good. Now, Aurelis Auxilitar, two shield cores, 300 B power, six damage. At the start of the game, you each player draws a card. So this is pretty much the exact same as Aquas Auxilitar, I think. Uh, yeah, but just with one more damage, and I think even the shield cores are the same, so... I don't know what the point of this effect is, which is, it's a big shame that this backing on is just a cutout copy of the Aquas version because this is like the main character's or auxil. Actually, no, is this a main character backing on? I don't remember. I but this backing on is really cool, and I'm pretty sure there's like no good auxilitar ever to be released. I don't know. I'll have to recheck that. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't use this backing on. I mean, it has six damage, so you can possibly use it. But uh, you're pushing it with the two shield cores because no one really wants to use shield cores in Armored Alliance. So yeah, no, I wouldn't use this back again. Next up is Aurelis Dragonoid. Two green fists, 500 B power, two damage. When you attach a back of gear to this, you may retract the back again you control. So uh, an interesting effect. However, these back again stats are way too low to really uh, be worth using. Uh, it is an interesting effect. However, uh, there are action cards that are very cheap that, you, that allow you to retract the Bakugan, so uh, having to attach a Bakugan to this Bakugan, uh, it's not really worth the retraction. So yeah, I would not use this Bakugan. Now, Aurelis Holocore Ultra, Shield and Green Fist, 400 B power, 4 damage. You get plus 200 B power, plus 2 damage for each Baku gear attached to this. So at maximum, that's uh, 2 Baku gears that you can put onto it. Uh, so that's uh, 800, 808, not bad. Uh, to be honest, it's going to be taking quite a few resources just to get this backing onto a decent number. So to be honest, I would not use this. Um, I think maybe if this guy had a good evolution, then yeah, but uh, nah, I wouldn't use this. Now, Aurelis Nilius Ultra, Green Fist, Magic Shield, 600 B power, 1 damage. While this has a Baku gear attached to it, plus 5 damage. Um, once again, it's a Baku gear. Uh, n you need a Baku gear for this Baku gun to be worth using. Um, and uh, the difference between the, this one and the Frost Strike Baku gun is that this one just adds more damage. And uh, to be honest, I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, Magic Shield is nice, but yeah, the stats are kind of middling. They're not bad, but they're not good. I just think it would take too much effort to really make this guy a good Bakugan. So I would say no, I would not use this Bakugan in my team. Now, Darkest Pegatrix has a green fist and a shield core. 300 B power and 4 damage when you attach a Baku gear to this. Uh, each player discards a card, so it's one of those discarding Darkest Bakugan. Uh, there were there were a lot of discard effects for Darkest back in the uh, back in year one for the Battle Planet Saga, but uh, it kind of died down because Dark has kind of been more like high damage sync kind of playstyle or like um, rapid fire. So yeah, um, 304 Green Fist and Shield. Nah, not really worth using. The stats are too low, and for a discard effect, there's a lot more. I think Darkest Cubble is still better than this. So no, not using that back again. So Darkest Gilatar Ultra, two green fists, 500 B power, and two damage. At the start of the game, each player discards a card. Uh, pretty much the reverse of drawing a card. Um, I don't know why you would want to hurt yourself unless you're doing a, like a, a a Fury effect. I don't know what it's called when you have no cards in your hand. Um, yeah, the stats are pr too low to really take advantage of anything. Now, Treacherous Ultra, 2 Green Fist, 600 B Power, 3 damage. You may reroll this once a turn, so it's a reroll effect. Um, once again, stats are too low. Um, yeah, I wouldn't use this back again. Now, Darkest Trox Ultra. I love the design of Darkest Tro of the Trox's Ultras in the uh, back on uh, Armored Alliance. I think they look very sleek. 
But once again, shield and green fist. There's a lot of shield and green fist here. 700 B power and 2 damage. While this has a back gear attached to it, plus 3 damage and shadow strike. So uh, it won't be able to get its stats reduced, which is pretty cool. Um, but once again, I think its stats are a bit too low, and having to uh, use a need a back gear to make this back gear halfway decent is kind of. Uh, a bit too much effort for what you get in return. I don't think it's Bakugan strong enough to really put the resources into it. So no, I would not use this Bakugan. Now it's Maxodon. Two shield cores, 600 B power and 5 damage. When you attach a Bakugan to this, you may reroll this Bakugan. What a waste of an effect. Um, just give it the reroll. Its stats are not really that high. I mean the 5 damage is pretty good, but when you have two shield cores and shield cores only give you 1 damage, What's the point? I mean, like, just give this back on a reroll, and even then I wouldn't use it. Because it's just, like, kind of like Auxilitar or something. But I guess the effect is, nah, you need a back... <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why you would even bother using this back on. You might, you're better off using not using the effect, actually. Alright, next up is Chaos Pegatrix Ultra. Now, fun fact, this was actually the first back on to have its uh, uh, its effect leaked because uh, before we did not know that the effects would just show up in the packs. Before we thought it would just be normal, but I don't know. Spinebuster wanted to save some money or something. I don't know. Two shield cores, 500 B power, one damage. Attach a back here from the field to this when you win a brawl. So, uh, I mean, are you going to be winning a brawl with 500 B power and one damage? Maybe if you're lucky. Um... Yeah, I, I wouldn't use this. The stats are too low. Uh, if the if this effect was uh, not a victory, really, this background would probably be one of the best chaos background. I mean, still the stats are a bit too low. Five hundred one. I mean, with the plus four hundred, it'll be nine hundred. But still, if you could attach a back here from the field onto this, I think this would be a top contender for one of the better uh, chaos backing on while not being too overpowered. But no, it's under victory, so no, I would not use this background. And, uh, yeah, so this was, like, the first, uh, uh, epic character card ever revealed because it was a mis it was a packaging error, so this was actually in the product that I think, uh, one of the Baku Masters at the time got. And then we found out, hey, oh yeah, Baku, these epic character cards are only in packs, so, uh, you must buy a pack if you want the best Bakugan. And to be honest, uh, the best Bakugan, I probably don't even have epic character cards, so I, I think I was a bit, uh, angrier than I should have been. Well, I mean, angry in a way where it's like, I don't like this. Not really angry, like, I'm gonna, I don't know, not play the game anymore. But anyways, next up is Feral. <laughs> Chaos Feral, shield and magic shield, 400 B, power 3 damage. When this Bakugan opens, Bakugan costs 1 energy less to play. So, uh, yep, yeah, this Bakugan is busted. You keep, a ma you do a bunch of rerolls. Your back of gears will cost one le one less, and they stack. So uh, yeah, you definitely can uh, abuse this back gear, especially with Chaos uh, no, Aquas Halcor Ultra. And uh, yeah, this back gear has also been banned in a lot of playgroups. So yeah, definitely use this back gear if you have it. Now Chaos Cyrus Ultra. This is a very beautiful looking card. But anyways. Green Fist and Shield Core, 700 B power, 1 damage. At the start of the game, a Bakugan gets 3 damage for the first turn. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, it's a pretty okay effect for the first turn if you want to go for a highest damage wins play. But then you have to uh, worry about drawing into an Initiator card for a highest damage wins play. Um, but even then, just for the start of the turn. And then after this, his Bakugan is just a 701, so the stats are too low to really do anything. Uh, especially with Green Fist and Shield. So no, I would not use this back again, but it looks cool. Pyrus Holocor. Green Fist, Helix Core, 500 B power, 2 damage. At the start of the game, make a Pyrus attack for 2 damage. Um, this is also part of that... Um, a part of that... Uh, a part of that combo with Chaos, Feral, and Aquas Holocor. So you do, you do that uh, damage, and then you have... Less damage to take out. I mean, in other situations, you probably wouldn't want to use this, but for a situation where you want to do a one turn kill, uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, I guess I would use it only if it was in that situation, uh, but otherwise, in a normal plain deck, I wouldn't use it. 
Pyrus, Nilius Ultra, Fire Fist, and Helix, Helix Core. 500B power, 3 damage. When this backhand opens, your next card costs 1 less to empower. So, I mean, if you're going to use an empower deck, uh, it might, maybe you can go go around with this backhand. Uh, it's not horrible. Its stats are a bit too low. But I think if you're running an empower deck, maybe you can play around with this effect. So, might as well try it out. Uh, so, yeah, I say if you're running empower and you have the space for this backing on, use it. If not, don't use it. Now, Pyrus Rai Razu, Shield Core and Green Fist, 300B power and 3 damage. While this, ha while this has a Baku gear attached to it, you get double strike. Um, a bit too much uh, resources for this backing on to make it really good. I mean, I guess the most damage you can get using its own cores is the plus 3 Green Fist, which would be 6 damage. So, yeah, I would not use this Bakion. It's too weak to really make use of any good cores it ever gets. And um, I think uh, having to use a Baku gear for Bakion that's kind of weak is not really worth it. And, I mean, getting double strike means it won't really help you with your... I think it won't help you with your highest damage wins plays because you're hitting twice rather than doubling your uh, damage set. So, yeah. Nope, I wouldn't use this. Pyrus Feral. Green Fist and Shield, 500B power, 5 damage. You may re-roll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. Um, I mean, pretty average, below average stats. If it had a better core lineup than... If it had, like, a Fire Fist or a Helix core, then I'd probably put you in, like, yeah, you can try using this. But because it doesn't and it's just a re-roll effect, uh, I wouldn't use this. No. Now, Ventus Cycloid, Fire Fist and Shield, 600B power, 2 damage. When you attach a Bakugan gear to this, give a Bakugan minus 3 damage. Um, once again, it's a effect that reduces stats, but you have to have a Bakugan gear onto it. To be honest, you kind of it probably would have been better if like it, if it opened on a Fire Fist and reduced the damage by 3, and then you can probably use this back in as a di damage wins play, even if it, it has like Poor damage. But anyways, its stats are too low, so no, I would not use this back again. Ventus Hydrus, Shield, uh, Helix Core, and Fire Fist, which is a very, very great uh, core lineup. Has 400 B power, 1 damage. When this back gun opens, each player reveals the top card of their deck. If yours costs more, this gets 300 B power and 3 damage. I mean, that's a pretty interesting effect to play around with. Um, and... Uh, I mean, its B power is kind of uh, negligible. I mean, if it, if it lands on the plus 600, Helix Court's 1300. But, I mean, in the world of 1450, eh, you can go without it. Um, the damage would get to around, would get to 10. So, I mean, there's that. But there's also a bit of a gamble. So, unfortunately, I would not use it. If its stats were a bit higher, then, yeah, it would be fun to play. But because you have to gamble just to get to... Uh, you know, your baseline, like a minimum damage wins play, it's not really worth it. Ventus, Nilius, Green Fist, and Shield Core, 400B power, 5 damage. It's a reroll effect, stats are too low. I mean, the f if it had a better core lineup, it'd be worth use. maybe it'd be worth using for the damage, but because its stats are too low, and it uh, has a Green Fist and Shield Core, it's not worth it. Ventus Pegatrix, double green fist, 600 B power, 2 damage. At the start of the game, each player energizes the top card of their deck uncharged. That's actually not bad of an effect for like an energized card or energized deck, but you are giving your player uh, an extra card to energize, so, um, I mean, you gotta be very careful. Uh, to be honest, if I were going to build an energizing deck, I'd probably make use of other cards, of another Bakugan that came out, especially since this Bakugan's stats are not very good, and its core lineup is not very good as well. So yeah, I would not use this Bakugan. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? What is that? What the heck is that? Is that the tail? It's not really connected. I, I don't know, maybe it's a perspective thing. <laughs> so it just looks like a disembodied... Th I don't know what it is, because it's very metallic, but whatever. Wow, a very angry cat. Ventus Feral, Helix Core, and Green Fixed. Through 500B power, 5 damage, boost. You may... If you have 7 or more energy cards in play, you get 5 damage. Um, actually, um, 
5 damage already, so you're on the mi minus 200 B power plus 5 damage helix core. You're at 10 damage minimum for highest damage once play. If you have 7 more energy cards, I mean, it's going to take a while, maybe. Actually, no, for Aventus, if you have a boosting deck, then probably won't take too long. 15 damage, that's very good. Um, so yeah, I would uh, play around this Bacchion. I try, I use this Bacchion. Alright, Ventus, Treaderous, Ultra, Magic Shield, and Green, f and Shield Core. So this is the Shrek Bakugan. 700B, power 2 damage. While this has a Bakugan attached to it, plus 6 damage and Shadow Strike. So, I mean, the plus 6 damage will get it to 8. It doesn't really have any damage boost. And maybe the Shield Core will give it 1 damage. So it'll be 9, and then the Bakugan... Nah, the stats are again are too low. I mean, I think at some one point when this card was leaked, uh, and you had the magic shield, thirteen fifty B power, pretty decent, but eventually we would get like a Ventus Virazu, uh Ventus Vampirion, where you wouldn't want to really use this back gun. Maybe in a mono Ventus deck you can make use of this back gun or a mon mono Ventus deck that's focusing just on B power, sure, why not? Um, otherwise, in most cases, I would not use this. Maybe in special occasions, like for Vent Mono Ventus or something, then yeah, I'd use it. So yeah, very mixed on that one. Oh, now we're at uh, Shields of Astoria, I guess. Hydrus and Trino. Uh, Green Fist, Helix, 600 B power, 3 damage, 8 energy to fuse. That's a lot of energy, but let's see the epic character card. Alright, our sets are now at 1212. Has a victor ability. Reveal the top card of your deck. This gets a... Uh, a frost strike equal to the revealed card's energy cost. So that could actually be some deal some heavy damage, and you, your opponent will uh, have some trouble. Because I mean, the plus five damage helix core, you're going to be at 17. Um, if you pick up an energy card, I mean, to be honest, if you're spending eight energy to fuse, you do not want to have frost strike that's. You don't want to have cards that cost too much because uh, you're going to be wanting to focus on getting that 8 energy. Um, it's a very, I think it's a very strong effect. Uh, it's fused stats are pretty good, but the fact that it costs 8 energy, oh man, that's a, that's a lot of energy, man. I would not use it. I would not use it. All right, Hydra's Trino Ultra Magic Shield and uh, Green Fist, 500 B power, 2 damage, only 2 energy to fuse, so we're looking much better. Is this the same Hydra's X Trino? Hydra's, okay, this is the Ultra one. So the Ultra one is cost less. Um, 800, uh, so 700 B power, 4 damage. When you turn this face up, you draw a card. So on the plus 800 Magic Shield, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1500 B power. Um, to be honest, there's already a Hydra's core that has 1500 B power. So the fact that you kind of have to spend two energy to just get to the baseline 1500, um, is not really worth it. Unfortunately, it's outclassed, which is weird because you think that with Hydra's and Trino together that they'd be stronger than Hydra's core, but it's not. So, yeah, uh, I mean, if you... Maybe if you, if you build a fusion only deck and you have like uh, cards that are like, oh, if you're backing on this fusion and you get this extra perk, then yeah. Actually, uh, you, in a mono fusion deck, yeah, use it. Two energy is very cheap and 1500 B power is very good. You can uh, you can fuse this back on within the first couple turns. So, you know what? Fusion only deck, use it if you're very focused on uh, conserving as much energy as possible. Uh, probably not. So yeah, it's a it's a kind of a gimmick. So use this if you want to use only fusion backing on. Uh, otherwise, don't. Halcor and Remparian, two green fists, five hundred B power, five damage, damage, six energy to fuse. So you're kind of pushing it there. And let's see, fourteen hundred B power, six damage. When you turn this face up, choose a player to discard two cards. Hmm, pretty decent. That's a pretty decent effect. Uh, it can really mess up your opponent. Actually, and with two green uh, with two green fists, I think the best your best course of action, your best course of action is to uh, boost the damage a bit to eleven. But hmm, fourteen hundred B power is almost there. Uh, to be honest, I'm not comfortable spending six energy for that. I feel you're better off. It's probably a better backing on that you can use. 
which is a shame because Aqu- Aquas Vampirian is a very strong. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't think Aquas Vampirian is very strong, but either way, six energy is a bit too much for my liking. But the effect is very good. Uh, so I maybe if you're using a discard effect, you know, a hand control deck, then maybe you can get away with this. But most of the time, I I wouldn't recommend it. All right, Halcor Ser- and Serpentine's two shield cores, 400 B power, four damage, only three energy to fuse, so we're looking good there. All right, so 700 B power, five damage. This Bakugan gets 300 B power for each Bakugan attached to this. So I mean, so 700 B power. You're gonna be at 1200 when on the plus 500 fusion only shield core. Um, 1,500 if you have a back of gear, 1,800 if you have a second back of gear. So I think if you are willing to, uh, gamble a bit, I mean, you have to draw into, you know, at least one back of gear and then spend, spend the three energy to fuse and then spend whatever amount of energy it is to use the back of gear. You know what? You can probably, uh, make use of this back of gun. Yeah, I would use this back of gun. All right. Darkest, Hollow Core, and Serpentine's Ultra. Two Shield Core, 700 B power, two damage, five energy, so it's a bit it's a bit high. 1100 B power, four damage, to destroy a hero. If this was four energy, I'd be more comfortable using it. I don't really want to use cards that cost more than four energy. You can destroy a hero. Uh, I think heroes were probably a bit more uh, dominant back then. Um, hmm. I am going to say, because it co- if it costed more, I would say no. Five energy, I think you can, I think at, in Armored Alliance, you could probably still get away with it. Uh, especially if you have like a Pyrus backing on in your team to kind of help you with that momentary energy. So, you know what? If you have a ba- Pyrus backing on in your team, I, th- I would say go for it. Yeah, you can use this. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chaos Bar- Barbetra. Magic Shield and Helix Core, which is a great uh, B power core lineup. 400 B power, 6 damage. It has a victor ability. You draw a card for each back of you attached to this, so you can drop the two cards, I guess. Um, has 600, It has 6 damage. You can, it has a Helix Core. You know, plus, on the plus 5 damage Helix Core, it's 11 damage. So, I mean, sure, why not? I mean, I mean, what? You can use it. <laughs> it I, I, it's probably better Bakugan out there, but this is not a bad Bakugan. So yeah, you can use it. Now, Pegatrix and Gilatar, Magic Shield, Green Fist, 400 B Power, 4 damage, only 1 energy to few, so that's amazing. And uh, stats go up to 600, so that's, uh, what, 1200 B Power? No, sorry, four, that's 1400 B Power, 6 damage when you're on the plus 800 Magic Shield. And then you can reroll it if you want. I mean... I don't know why you would want to re-roll it if you opened on the Magic Shield. Well, I mean, maybe if you missed the roll and you open on the Green Fist, then maybe you can get away, you can do that. But, I mean, it's not bad. This is a back end you can fuse in turn one. So, yeah. You can use this back on. No problem. Pegatrix and Goreen has a, ma- a magnificent core lineup of Magic Shield and Fire Fist. 500 B power, 4 damage, 5 energy to fuse. So, kind of pushing it there. A 1,000 beat power, 6 damage is your increase. And I can't even... When you turn this... Look at this. When you turn this face up, you may pay... You may attach one of your back gear in play to this. So, I mean... Maybe you can... Uh, it's going to be 1,800 beat power for 5 energy. And you can... Move a back. So if you're using a few back gears, uh, you can. If you're using a lot of back gears and you're fusion friendly, I think maybe you can get away with this back gun if you have a Pyrus back gun. I mean, it has magic shield, fire fist, has 1,000 B power, six damage. So you can go for either B power or damage. So yeah, if you have a Pyrus back gun, I guess you can use this back gun. All right, now Pegatrix and Gorin Ultra. Fire Fist, Green Fist, 700 B power, 3 energy. I mean, 3 damage, and it only costs 4 energy, so we're good there. Let's see. 900 B power, 5 damage. You can attach it back here from the field onto this. You know what? This is not bad. 4 energy. You focus on damage, you know. 
And then I guess with your victory ability, you can add more damage. So let's see what we got. You got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You add another core, maybe the plus 3 fire, green, no, plus 5 green fist. So that's 15, uh, 18 damage. Did I say 3? I don't know. Yeah, 18 damage. So, I mean, actually, yeah, I'd say if you have, once again, if you have a Pirate Spachyon, I mean, you're going to need a Pirate Spachyon to initiate for highest damage wins play. Then, yeah, go for it. All right, now Trox and Nobilius Ultra, Shield Core and Green Fist, 300 B power, 6 damage, 6 energy diffuse. I think that's a bit too much, but let's see. 1400 B power, 7 damage. If you have 3 or more hero cards in play, 5... Jeez, five, five frost strike. Oh my goodness. Um, that's a very interesting effect. It you need it's I think a bit of resources, three or more hero cards. I mean, there's probably cheap hero cards in there, so you might be able to get this off. I think if you're in a hero focused deck and you need something that can you know get to 1900 B power, so yeah, I mean, if you're a hero focused deck. And I mean, I guess you're gonna need Pyrus. I mean, maybe there's a hero back, hero, hero guy that lets you uh, reduce the dam, reduce the energy. Maybe if, if there's a hero like that, and you're a hero focused deck, then yeah, use this back again. It's not horrible. All right, Dragonoid and Auxilator Ultra, double fire fist, 800 B power, one damage. Unfortunately, it has eight energy diffuse. That's a lot of energy. It goes up to 2005. When you turn this face up, reveal the top card of your deck. Make a damage, fire damage, pirate attack for damage equal to revealed. When you turn this face up, reveal the top card of your deck. Make a pirate attack with damage equal to the revealed card's energy cost. So, I mean. I mean, like, what? You're going to do four damage? Uh, if you're going to spend 8 energy to fuse, you probably don't want to have too many expensive cards over 4 energy to really make use of this back on. Unfortunately, I think if you do a Dragonoid X Auxilitar ramp deck, you just focus all your efforts on getting this guy out. Then maybe it'd be worth it, but I think you—it's not really a back gun that you can splash into anything. You have to really be like, okay, I'm gonna just focus on this back gun. So unfortunately, I would say no in the most part. But I mean, for someone who's a big fan of Dragonway and Auxilla Tar Ultra, I think you might be able to use it because hey, if you get to flip this guy over to become a fused form, you might, you're probably already in a good spot. So I guess yeah, maybe. Right, Pegatrix and Gorian Ultra, two Helix cores, 600 B power, two energy, two damage, and two energy to fuse. So that's a very good energy cost. Um, 700 B power, three damage. When you turn his face up, you get plus three energy, I guess, for the turn. So it's not bad. Unfortunately, Helix cores are not very, they don't give you really. The Helix core boosts. For fusion Bakugan are not stronger than the uh, the normal boost, so the stats are going to unfortunately still be kind of mediocre. Uh, but for two energy to fuse, it is a Pyrus Bakugan, a Pyrus fusion Bakugan. So I mean, I this might if this is the cheapest Pyrus fusion Bakugan, and you need you really want a Pyrus fusion Bakugan, I think you can use it, um, especially since when you turn this face up, you get three energy. So. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to make use of it using action cards. Um, however, I'm going to say no to this one. I just feel that there's a bit of a gamble because you're going to have to worry about, okay, uh, I'm going to need certain cards in my hand to make this backhand actually good. And this backhand stats by itself are not very good. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit close. Maybe, I think maybe you can get lucky and you can do very well with it, but most occasions, uh, probably not. All right, Trox Nobilis Ultra, Shield Core and Green Fist, 300 B power, six damage, six energy to fuse. So you're kind of kind of a bit high. Gets to 612 when you turn this back on face swap. Remove all enemy back cores and place them onto the field. So hmm, this is six energy is really pushing, but it is a Pyrus back gun. You can bring in your Sifting Ashes 
or your your what, super fuels or something make this guy cheaper. And it has 12 damage, which can get to 17 when the plus 5 green fist, so it is it is something that you can play around with. Uh, and the effect is actually is actually pretty strong too. So, yeah, because it's Pyrus, I think I'll let it be used in the deck. So, yes, this gets the check mark from me. All right, Fangzor and Mantanoid. Two green fists, 700 B power, one damage, six energy to fuse. That's kind of a lot. Uh, but it goes up to 1500 B power, one damage, and it gets one damage for each energy card you have in play. I mean, six energy <laughs> to fuse, so maybe you're going to have seven and you get up there. I mean, it may, if, you, if you are using a boost deck, Mono Ventus boost deck, then, yeah, sure, why not? You get some high damage numbers. Uh, and the 1500 1500B power is already pretty high, so in a boost deck, I can see this maybe making some use. All right, Trox Nobilius, Helix Core Green Fist, 300B power, 3 damage, 4 energy to fuse, so we're good there. It goes up to 900B power and 6 damage. When you turn this face up, the opposing, the opposing backing on must be rolled. And now... If you focus on damage, you got the plus 5 damage, so you get 11 damage. Um, unfortunately, the Helix Core is the best one, is I think the plus 600. So you're going to be at 1500, so I mean... Yeah, it's not bad. You can use this back again, especially good to make... I think it's decent that you can reroll, make force your opponent to reroll, because then, you know, what if they miss? You give that opportunity to them for miss or something, so... Yeah, but at the same time, if your opponent misses their roll and then you force them to re-roll, you might hurt them. So actually, it, it's very close, but I think because it's only for energy, I'd give this the okay. Alright, Trox and Nobilius Ultra, Magic Shield and Helix Core. 500 B power, 3 damage, 8 energy to fuse. So, 8 energy is a lot. We saw that with Dragonoid and Exilator, and that back had a 2000 B power. So let's see what this guy has. Okay, 1600 B power, 8 damage, recharge all of your energy cards. So, ooh, maybe this guy can be the, the boss of a, bo of a boost deck. 1600, that is crazy, with also a magic shield too. Because remember, uh, Pyrus, Aurelis, Auxilitar, Dragonoid did not have a magic shield. So you're going to be a 2400 B power on the plus 800 B. Magic Shield. So you know what? As the boss monster for a boost deck, I would say go with it. You know, uh, focus on boosting that, or maybe even have a Pyrus backing on with you uh, to do your boosting as well. So I think yeah, this is a decent boss monster. All right, next is Trox and Cyrus Shield Core Green Fist, 500 B power, three damage, five energy to fuse. So you're a bit high, and the core lineup is not very good. So let's see, we get to 1,000 B power, 5 damage. When you turn this face up, energize a card in your discard pile uncharged. So, I mean, kind of like a weaker version, maybe, of Trox Nobilius. Uh, you get to 1,500 when on the plus 500 fusion only shield core. Um, uh, we get to energize a card in our discard pile, so... Uh, if it was a bit stronger... I would give this the absolute yes. Or maybe if it was 4 energy, I'd give it the harder yes. Because it's 5 energy and it's not super strong, but it's still decently strong. I'm going to give this, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, if you play around with this guy, it's not bad. But there is some, uh, you, you might have to be careful with it. I'm going to give this a weak yes. But uh, still, not bad. Garganoid Webum. Shield Core and Fire Fist, 500B, Power 4 Damage. As a Victor Ability Boost, if you have 7 or more Energy Cards in play, you may Fuse. So let's see. 1600B, Power 10 Damage, 2100. So maybe this is the 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 Boost King. Because, I mean, 2100B, Power is pretty good and you can Fuse it for free. If you already have 7 Energy, those are not going to be being used. So you have 7 Energy to play with. So, yeah, but at the same time, if this backing on does not f does if you do not have seven energy, this backing on will not be able to fuse. So 
You cannot use, I, and you cannot use temporary energy either. So you're forced to, you know, boost this back on up. But at least in base form, it has a four it has four damage. So if you're on the plus six fire fist, the non fusion one, uh, you can get a ten damage minimum. So you know what? Yeah, this is a good back. This is a good back on. You can use it, especially for, uh, mainly for boost deck. This is not a bad boss monster for boost deck. All right, Aquas, Trox, and Nobilius Ultra, Green Fist, and Helix Core, six hundred B power, one damage, Victor ability, draw one card. If you draw five or more cards this turn, fuse. Oof. And then he goes up to one thousand twelve. To be honest, I think this is a this is a drawing five cards. I think is a lot more difficult than just having seven or more energy in play. Uh, to be honest, I would not use this backing on. I think um, something like Gargoyle Webum is better. Uh, this backing on is just. I think maybe if the B power was higher. I'd use it because the Helix Core, once again, the best one is the non-fusion Helix Core. It gives you 600, so you're 1600, and you got to draw a lot of cards. So, I mean, if you went, well, by the time you fuse this back on, you're probably already in a good spot. So, yeah, I would not, I would not use this back on, but maybe you can make use of it if you're lucky. All right, Sabra and Pyravian Ultra Sabra. What the heck? It's who's Sabra? I guess this is Sabra? Or whatever. Shield core and green fist. <laughs> 4 inch B power 2 energy. Flip a coin if heads fuse. Alright. 1100 for 5. So you get the 1600 or you get the 10. I mean, if there's a 50 50 chance. Sure, why not? You know, it's a weak yes because there's a bunch of gambling, but I mean, look at that. It's a cool evolution. I mean, it's a cool fuse backing on. Uh, 1600 B power is not bad, and I mean, you can fuse for free if you're lucky. So, yeah, use this. Alright, next up is Maxator and Zentar. Two green fist, 600 B power, two damage. Victor ability sync, you may reveal a card that costs two energy to fuse. Um, 1004. Nah, unfortunately, I would not use this backing on. Because in its fuse form, it's 1004. It's mainly going to be focusing on damage because it's Green Fist, but the most damage you can get from a Green Fist is 5 on the fusion only Green Fist. And unfortunately, with 4 damage, it's going to be under the 10 damage minimum we want. 1000 beat power is nice. I mean, if you have two, if you have, I mean, to fuse for a free, you're going to have to do core sharing, to be honest. And at that point, it's not really worth it. I mean, if maybe if you have a bunch of magic shields you can spare, you can use it. I'm actually I'm gonna give this a weak yes because it's sync two energy is not that uncommon to have, but uh, most times you probably want to use a different backing gun. All right, next up is Nilius and Enoch shield core and, and fire fist, 300 B power, four damage, and four energy diffuse. So we're looking good right now. Alright, so 900 B power, 7 damage. When you turn this face up, choose a player to discard a card. Not bad. You're going to be on the 8 damage, so 15 damage. Um, this is going to be a damage fo focus back again. Um, I mean, I guess you can get to 1300. No, you can get to 1400 B power on the plus 500, on the plus 500 shield core. So it's not too bad on B power. I mean, it's still below the minimum 13, 1450. But I mean, with its damage stat being. Uh, so high that I can get to 15 damage. I mean, it's not bad. So, it's a very cool looking Bakugan. Uh, I, yes, this is not bad. You can put it in a deck. I wish it was a bit stronger because it just looks amazing. I feel like this should have been like a boss monster level Bakugan, but this is just like, a, you know, not bad. Not good. Alright, Sabra and Pyravian Ultra. Two Helix cores, so it's a decent Helix core overall but for fusion back gun it's not too good and has 400 b power for energy and is a victor ability choose a player to discard a card then if that player has no cards in their hand you may fuse oh my goodness first of all you need to somehow win with 404 and 404 and then you have to make sure your player ha your opponent has no cards in their hand and then when you fuse you get 908 this is very disappointing 
Um, no, I would not use this Bakion. The stats are a bit too low. I mean, its few stats are not bad, but the fact that your opponent has to have no cards in their hand, and then they have, and then you have to somehow win with stats of 404, I'm not seeing it happening. But it looks cool. Alright, next up, Hydrus and Batrix. Magic Shield and Helix Core. 200 B power, 5 damage, and 1 energy to fuse. So that's looking amazing, actually. And let's see. 500 B power, 7 damage, and power. When you turn this face up, you may pay an additional 3 energy and make a Pyrus attack for 2. So... You're going to be at 1300 B power when on the plus 800 magic shield. So it's underneath our 1450. I guess you can do a, a 2 damage with it. Um, to be honest, I'd rather use that Pegatrix fusion. That The Pegatrix fusion that has 1 energy. I don't know if I'd use this one. No, I wouldn't use it. Right next up is Kloptor and Apollyon. Fire Fist and Green Fist, 600 B power, two damage. If you control three or more back, three or more heroes, you must you can fuse. Okay, sorry, it's not I've been talking too much. I cannot talk properly. So you can fuse for free for three more heroes. I think in a hero deck that can be pretty easy to do. I think there's some samurai guy or something that's cheap. So yeah, and especially now when you have more hero cards. So let's see, you go up to 1,206. You know what? This is not bad. Free free to fuse if you have three hero cards. You have six de six energy, you know, six damage, 1,200 B power. This is pretty good, pretty good. I would use this back on. Howl Core and Serpentees, Green Fist, Helix Core, 300 B power, four damage. If this has two or more back cores attached to it, you may fuse. So, I mean, it has a Green Fist, so you can use that Mega Punch. You get to that Mega Punch, and you have 600 B power and 7 damage. I mean... It's B power is a bit too low. You can use this for a highest damage wins play. But there, to be honest, we're getting so many highest damage wins play back on. And then you're using two more back, of course. You need a bit of... Uh, yeah, you got to put a bit too much effort to get around the similar, similar damage rating... To what Darkest Virazu can get. So, to be honest, I would not use this back again. Alright, Chaos Gilatar. Shield Core and Helix Core. 300 B power, 6 damage. This gets 300 B power if you have a Fusion back again on your team. I mean, the this damage is not really going... This B power is not really going to uh, do anything for you. I mean, 600 B power with the... Plus 600 is a bit, still a bit too low. But it has 6 damage, which is nice. But, I mean, the fact that you need a fusion... I don't know. The fact that the fusion back again gives you a boost in B power, even though your damage is what you want to be focusing on, is kind of sad. I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe it has a good evolution. If it has a good evolution, then... Uh, sure, why not? Where am I? Let's click on it. Does it have a good evolution? Has a Maximus evolution, um, but 600, 1200. I mean, it has good damage. I mean, the damage for this back on is pretty de is pretty good. So I mean, use this for damage. Don't use this for B power. I don't know why it's giving you a boost in B power. Hydroid and Krakelios, Shield Core and Green Fist, 300 B power, four damage. When you play your second card with Rapid Fire this turn, fuse. So let's see what we get here. 507. I mean, this is, honestly, this can be uh, used for damage wins play, but there's better damage wins back on out there. So, I mean, I guess if you like the design, you can use it. It's a pretty good design. <coughs> but yeah, you're going to have to use this for damage wins, and I mean, there are probably better damage wins back on out there. So, yeah, I mean, you can use it a week, yes. All right, now what is this back on? This one, Pyrus Enoch Ultra. Uh, 400 B power, 6 damage. Victor ability, ignore the armor rating on the opposing player's card this turn. Um, I guess this can be useful. It has 6 damage, so with the Fire Fist, it's going to be at 12 damage, which is over the 10 damage minimum. 
And uh, yeah, I guess if you want to use this back gun and you're having a hard time with armor ratings, then sure, use it. Oops. All right, Hydra Centrino Ultra Ventus has a green fist, a helix core, 500 B power, and three damage, and two energy to fuse. So that's pretty good because it's cheap. All right, now we evolve into 700 B power and five damage. So I mean, you get to the 10 damage minimum or 1300 B power. Um, but the B power is a bit too low, but we'll see. When you turn it face up, you may attach a green fist from the field onto an open backing on. So, you know what? You can get to some pretty spicy uh, damage numbers with that. That's going to be like 15 damage right there for, you know, two energy. I mean, Dark Star Razu is at 15. I mean, maybe you, you can also go for B power as well. You know, you're going to be at 1300 and then 1450 with the green fist. So you know what? Yeah, this is a solid cheap back gun to use. And you whatever fusion only back gears or co uh, cards that you got to make this back gun better than your other average back gun. You know what? Yeah, this is a yes from me. All right, Dragonoid and Treacherous. Shield core fire fist 600 B power 1 da 1 damage has cost 5 energy to use, so I'm already a bit disappointed on that 5 energy. However, it gets to 1005 when this is turned up, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a non-flip card, you may play it for free. So I guess it's kind of like a uh, air 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 zero or something for five energy. It is a heal. It is an Aurelis Bachion. So the fact that it's an Aurelis Bachion and Armored Alliance does not bode well already because you know Aurelis wasn't super tight that back then. Um. Five energy is pushing it as well, but the effect is pretty decent. But it's also a gambling effect, so you know it's you're pretty up to chance. Um, hmm. You know, I'm gonna give this a if you have a Pyrus Bachion in your team that can let you uh, boost up your damage momentarily, I mean, boost, boost up your energy momentarily. You know, use it. I'm going to give this a weak use. All right, next up is Pegatrix and Goreen Ultra. It has a shield core and a green fist. 600 B power, 5 damage, 7 energy. So we're pushing it. Goes up to 1200 B power, 9 damage. When you turn this face up, you draw 2 cards. Uh, the stats are a bit whatever. I mean, the damage is high. I mean... You can get the 1700 B power or 14 damage. You probably want to go for the 1700 B power. 7 energy is a lot. You draw 2 cards, and it is an Aurelis Bachion. If you really wanted to use this Bachion, I think uh, it'll, once you evolve, it'll be decent. But I'm going to give this a weak yes. It's not, it's not a bad Bachion, but I mean, it costs a lot, so it really hurts that. All right. Next, we have Feral and Gilatar Ultra. Fire Fist and Green Fist, 400 B power, 2 damage. When you fuse another Bakion, fuse this. So you can pet, kill two birds with one stone, or pet two cats with one hand. All right, you got 600 B power, 3 damage. Um, I mean, you can, evolve, you can fuse it for free. I think if this was a Pyrus Bakion, like if its main form was Pyrus. Then I think I'd give it a yes, but because it's an Aurelis Bakugan, I would give it a no. Um, you know, maybe if you have, uh, if you have a Pyrus Bakugan, you can. I think this is not bad to use because you're gonna only use this for damage, anyways. So highest damage wins plays. If you really wanted to, actually no. You know what? There are a lot of Bakugan with higher damage ratings that don't need to fuse. So I'm gonna say no, unfortunately. And I guess that's it. That's the last one. Um, yeah, that is the last one. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of the epic character cards are not very good, but there are a lot of them that are good. So, I mean, I'm kind of split on these. And obviously, there's some of these back then probably have evolutions that we did not look at. Um, but these are ma this video is mainly just reviewing the epic character cards. Uh, if they did have evolutions, it was pr I probably talked about them in the uh, in the uh, what you call 
in the worst best videos, except for maybe the uh, these fusion Bakuyan. These fusion Bakuyan probably did not have evolutions. They probably did have diamond evolutions, but to be honest, having to f spend energy to fuse, and then to spend energy again to evolve, uh, it's not really not really worth it. But you know what? Just for you guys, I'm going to go to the Bakugan Armored Alliance. I'm going to go to Shields of Astroya. Look at all the cards. I'm going to go to the Evolutions. So, let's see. Let's review all the Evolutions. I don't think there's many Evolutions here. Let's see. Alright, we're at the Evolutions. Okay, 2 energy to, ev two energy to Evolve. 900 B-Power, 500 B-Power. 900 B power, 3 damage, 503. You know what? This is a pretty pretty solid evolution. Titan Treader Sotra. 4 energy to evolve. 1200 B power, 8 damage. If you get 3 Frost Strike, if you have a fusion backing on the team. Yeah, this is also a pretty good evolution. 500 B power. Aquas or Imperium 5. This is going to be 14. Not, not really worth it. Maximus Enoch Ultra, 5 damage, 1400 B power, 5 damage. This backing gun gets 10 damage of infusion backing on your team. Um, I guess it's worth it, maybe. Maybe infusion backing, but it's 5 energy, so you're going to be pushing it. Don't have too many 5 energy cards. All right, Halcorex from Imperion, 8 damage, 8 energy, 1808, 5 Frost Strike. I mean, it's a strong guy. Frost Strike is a lot, but I mean. Eight energy to fuse a Bakion is kind of pushing it. You have Nilius Xenoc, five de five energy, twelve hundred eight. I don't think this one is as good. Uh, Maximus Giltar Ultra. We've already looked at this one's focused on B power. Pegatrix like Scorpion Ultra. This is a very pretty looking card, um, but six energy, twelve hundred B power, ten damage, seven hundred B power when you're on the. You know what? This is pretty decent. I like the I like this. It's a bit pushing it, so it's an end game backing on. But you know what? Yeah, I like it. Pegatrix of Gilatar, four energy to evolve, thirteen damage, seven hundred B power. The damage is pretty decent. Um, so I mean, like if you have the resources and you're, I mean, Pegatrix of Gilatar, that's a cheap evolution, anyways, a cheap fusion, anyways. So you know what? Not bad. Right, Titan Enoch Ultra, 4 energy, 1200 beat power, 7 damage. Ignore armor ratings. Um, Titan Enoch Ultra, pens. What is... Did I look? What is... What is Pirate Enoch Ultra? Shield Core and Fire Fist. Um, nah, I wouldn't go for it. Maybe. Maybe. Titan Dragon or Ultra, look at this guy. 5 energy. 1500 B power, 3 damage when this double strike if you have fusion backing on your team. 1500. Oh, wow. Um, North of XL, what does that mean? Oh, bigger one. Fire Fist and Shield Core. So it's going to use, uh, going to be at 1900 for 5 energy. If it was, if it was 4 energy, I'd be more inclined to say yes. Uh, but I guess if you're, if you're using Dragonwood Ultra, maybe you might as well go for it. I mean, it looks cool. And if you have a fusion backing on. Alright, Hyper Cyrus Ultra, 3 energy, 900 B power, 6 damage, victory ability of 5 energy. So that's nice. Uh, I guess. I mean, if you if you win the brawl, you're already in a good spot. So, I mean, it lets you hurt the opponent more, which is not very good game design. But you know what? Uh. Nah, I wouldn't go for it. Titan Pegatrix Ultra, 5 energy, 1300 B power, 4 damage. This costs 3 energy less if you have 4 if you fusion backing on your team. So, I mean, 2 energy to evolve, 1300 B power. Oh, but this is Titan Pegatrix Ultra. It's 2 green fists, so, I mean, not really worth it, to be honest. Ryrazu, 4 energy to fuse, 1100, 11, 4 energy to evolve, 1100 B power, 6 damage. If When you're on a magic shield, you gain 1000 B power. Wait, I don't think this one comes with a magic shield. It doesn't. What's the point of this? 
Yeah, whatever. Ignore it. It's, you lose four. And, I mean, you're gonna be at twenty seven hundred B power. You're gonna use. I mean, yeah. Why not? If you have a magic shield to spare. All right, Diamond Barbatra. fifteen hundred B power, five damage, five damage on the shield core, five hundred B power. I mean, seven hundred, seven da energy is a lot to be honest. So no, I wouldn't use it. Maxator Exentar, six energy already. I mean. Max or Exentar. Is it a cheap evolution? Is it a cheap fusion back again? Uh, fuses one on the. Wow. Fuses one on a magic shield. But it doesn't come with the magic key. What the heck is going on with this back again? Yeah, maybe. If you have a spare magic shield to use, then yeah, sure, go ahead. Alright, Diamond Troxx Nobilius Ultra. Six energy. 1000 B power, six damage. I mean. How much does it cost normally? Unfused? Eight. I mean, I guess if you want to go even further beyond, but... 1,600, eight, 1, Actually, this sucks. What is this? Why would you use this? Who's use the fuse form? Why are these... Why, why is this fuse form weaker than the actual Bakugan? What's going on? All right. Titan Hydra's Ultra. If an opposing player has reduced damage with an armor rating, you may play this for free. Um, if armor ratings are popular wherever you are, I mean, might as well. 1,200 B power for six and 6 damage for free. What is the stats? Yeah, you know what? Might as well have a might as well have a copy or two just to see if you can get lucky with that. Alright, and then I guess this is the last evolution. Feral X Gilatar Ultra. 5 energy, 1600 B power, 4 damage. Um, let's see what the normal one is. Oh, and this is, this is one that's... F this one is also only 2 energy, so... Uh, diamond form for 5, 1600, 5. And it comes with a fire fist. You know what? I think if you're going to go with this Feral Exkeletor Ultra, because it... It's only two energy. Might as well go for this evolution. You're kind of pushing it, but for five energy, I mean, there's worse backing on five energy. 1600 B power is not bad. Five energy, you're kind of pushing it, but you know what? It's not super high. So yeah, yeah, sure. I'll give this, uh, give this from a maybe to a yes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of it. Now I don't need to do the worst to best for... All these back on over again, so I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, this has been Zionic Blader. Special thanks to the uh, back on wiki for having all these cards there, because I don't think I can do any of these videos without the back on wiki. So uh, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for watching me ramble on about these cards. Um, and if you like the video, hit the like button. If not. I'm not don't do it. I'm not the boss of you. But anyways, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.